Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing the difference between a scab and eschar. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So there is a big confusion, and I've heard um, a scab and eschar being used kind of interchangeably. So I just wanted to make a video on this because they are completely different, okay? So eschar, this is devitalized tissue, okay? So um, this is tissue that blood is not circulating too properly, so it dies. Okay, so general guidelines for stable dry eschar, um, the blood flow to the tissue under the eschar is poor, so it's ischemic. Um, and the wound is at higher risk of infection. So the eschar is acting like a natural barrier for um, infections uh, by keeping the bacteria uh, from entering the wound. Okay, so it's keeping that bacteria out. So therefore, we do not bride stable dry black eschar unless it's unstable um, unstable eschar is when it's swollen pus filled um, we are not removing that until we ensure uh, perfusion status okay so making sure that they have good blood flow to that area uh, we're not removing that um, also, eschar is flush with the skin, okay? It's not raised like a scab is. Um, it is definitely flush with the skin. So on the other hand, a scab or a crust, um, it's composed of dried blood, serum, and dried exudate, okay? So this sits on top of the skin surface. Um, so it is raised, and although it is better to keep a wound moist, we now know this, um, if a scab has formed over a wound, it's just better to leave it um, because removing it will cause more damage, and then you're at higher risk of also forming a scar in that area. So once you have a scab, just allow it to fall off on its own. Don't pick at it. Um, but really what we want is a nice moist wound environment because um, it does heal faster that way. So, um, but if, if we do get the scab, just leave it, okay? So um, as you can see, there is the two differences. The eschar is due to um, not enough oxygen nutrients going to that area. So it, it's dot, it, Died, and then your scab is your actual dry blood serum, dried exudate that just kind of sits on top um, and it's over top of the skin. So I hope that does clear up the difference between a scab and eschar, and I will catch you in my next video, guys. See ya!